being good is what you expect it to be. Now, being great, that's actuality redefined. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east and to the west, what's better than this? More of this. Let's talk about it. Yep, so, you know, we're on this mission and everything, and just want to let you guys know before we jump in that uh, we are trying to reach our milestone so if you can please like subscribe hit the bell it'll help us reach our milestone of getting the subs that we need so that we can have polls open and also so we can have a merch store we have some cool shirts if you uh, look at our uh, channel banner there on the bottom right hand corner you'll see like a shop now link if you guys click that link for now you guys can actually see some of the t-shirts and everything that we got and just remember that everything that you guys get it's free shipping but we'd like to get a merch shop in our description um, so that you guys can see the cool shirts and stuff that we have going on so if you would uh, just like subscribe and hit the bell and if you like the channel you know it'll help us uh, even more as we proceed and progress forward and so with all that I want to thank you and let's get to it. So um, this is going to be a quick shot I'm going to run. Uh, it's about uh, who the impact players are going to be now that football season is here in training camp. And it's hard to make a list out of just like, you know, like two, three players. But I don't know. I, I, I've come up with something where I think that I, I have like a handful of players that I think are going to be... Uh, making a very impact right away and I want to I, I want to address that it probably starts with the offensive line see we have like a few players um, well, we've drafted we, we drafted like Kellen Deesh, um 6'7 like 300 and some pounds out of Arizona State right and see with, with, with Kevin he, or with Kellen sorry about that with Kellen he is a um, he is definitely somebody that can get holes open and he can have a good anchor and of course you know being in the NFL he's going to learn a lot more so that hopefully you know th this will help him and I I'm going to be interested to see what's going to happen with him and our couple other undrafted rookies that we picked with um Blaze Andres. You know, him he's like six seven two and he's from Minnesota and then we got um Cole uh, and Cole Bernard. He uh well actually no, I think Cole has been around for about a year now. But anyhow I wanna see what's gonna be happening with these guys um on the offensive line and how that's gonna pan out. I think uh I'm looking forward to seeing Kellen really stand out and make his mark as far as being a a, a player that's going to be coming in, being a serviceable player. Um, quarterback, I probably should have started at quarterback first, but you know, I think Skyler is going to continue to shine during the OTAs. You know, he was getting a lot of light. People were like, you know, seeing the things that he was able to do, and it was progressing in the what was going to happen now that training camp, you know, is here. And when the pros are in, everybody's, on, you know, on deck. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what Skyler's going to do. And if, he, if he's able to, like, really pick up that mantle and start shining, how people are expecting him to possibly, possibly do. I mean, there, there are some folks saying that he might beat up, too. I, I, I don't know. But, you know, he's making, he made a strong, he's making a strong case. He's making a very strong case for it, you know, with those OTAs. Um, the running backs, you know, I'm really, really, really excited to see um, Zachondre White uh, step up in the OTAs. And it's been some real hype and excitement about Zachondre. I mean, I, people were, like, really saying that 
this dude is like the real deal, you know? And so if, if he shows that throughout training camp and, you know, through the preseason, you expect that man to, expect that man to be starting. Expect that man to, you know, probably share some snaps at first with Chase Edmonds and Sony Michelle, but then expect that man to start getting a full workload. And that's what I hear, I hear this man. I hear this man runs like Adrian Peterson and got moves like Barry Sanders. So, I mean, you know, we're going to see what's going to happen with that. Then, uh, you know, I'm also anxious to see um, what's going to be happening with uh, our tight end position. Now, you know, we have we have Gesicki out there. And, you know, we, we all know what Gesicki's about. And, you know, Gesicki's doing his thing and everything. And we have Adam Shaheen. And we have Durham Smythe. And we also have um, Hunter Long. And we're going to get a chance to look at Hunter Long as well. However, though, what really fascinates me is the fact that we have an undrafted rookie yeah, we got from Idaho. His name is Tanner Connor. And on the roster, they have him converted to a tight end. He's like 6'3 and like 226 pounds. And watching the highlight reel on Tanner, Tanner, he, he is a guy that, how could I say this? He, he, he was a, He's a blend of, of Kelsey and Cooper Cup. And... It's going to be interesting to see what this guy's what they're going to do with him, because things pan out with Tanner Connor in the tight end position, and he becomes a better blocker than Gesicki. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do, but nonetheless, it's going to be even more interesting to see what they're going to do. You know, if we have, I don't know, three tight ends on the field, maybe. I don't know, and. You know, to see what's going to happen with that set, possibly, or even with, you know, Gesicki on one side, Tanner Connor on the other, depending on what they want to do. It just gives us more of a weapon, so I'm anxious to see what's going to happen, especially at that tight end position, and I think Tanner Connor will make an impact immediately, right away, if they put him out there and he's supposed to be doing what he's doing. Um, we have um, Eric Izzakam, another wide receiver that we drafted. Actually, a wide receiver that we drafted um, from um, Texas Tech, and you know, call him Debo Jr., call him what you will or may. This man is going to be impactful right away, uh, and I'm, I'm anxious to see how they're going to line him up and you know, the different packages we're going to have for him because we just have so many weapons out there with our receiving corps. It would be hard. It would be hard for our quarterback to be throwing just lame duck passes to nothing. There will be completions like left and right if the, if, if the, if the passes are anticipated and they're hit where they're supposed to hit. It's, it's going to be a good season for our quarterback, our receivers, for our whole offense. But I expect Era as Nkuma, Kanama, Kanama, sorry bro from chopping up the name, to make a very huge impact. Um, I'm also looking at Channing Tindall. Um, Channing Tindall, I think he's going to be that Mike, and I think he's going to be, he's going to really solidify, he's going to help solidify our defense in the middle for sure. And I think a lot of teams are going to start running any type of crossing routes over us with their tight ends with Channing out there. And also Channing, I think he's going to be that plug that we need for big quarterbacks like Josh Allen, you know, and shut that stuff down. So, this is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen to him with our training camp. But I know he's going to be impactful too. And you know, then on the other aspect with the linebackers, I'm looking at Cameron Good. Cameron Good from California. We drafted him. I think Cameron Good is going to be like low key. Like this dude is going to make an impact out there on the field. That's only going to it, it's just going to hype up the entire defense. So. Uh, Cameron Good, look out for him to really be coming out like with the impact. Like I'm thinking, it, all the rookies that we picked up that we drafted are gonna be very, very impactful, and at least half of the undrafted ones, if not like three quarters of them, are gonna come in out the gate making strong impacts right away. So that, that that's that's where I'm at with it. 
uh, that's exactly where I'm at with it. I've been doing some research on these guys, and I, 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 like I said before in one of my earlier um, recordings, is that I think that I think that we aced this draft thing. We even aced the undrafted aspect of what of what of the, of the, the skill players that we have. I think that's what we got. So um, we're gonna find out here. Training camp is happening right now. The season's already started. For me, anyway. So, yeah, let's see what we're working with. And we also have another um, linebacker. We got uh, DeAndre Johnson. He's undrafted. And uh, we got him out of Miami. Now, DeAndre, DeAndre is, he's a stuffer. DeAndre's a stuffer as well. And, you know, he, he really gets after the ball. Gets after the ball. You know, I'm, I'm just... I'm just hoping that, you know, with DeAndre out there and then you have, you know, Sam McGuavin and, you know, you have Baker and Ginkle. I'm, I'm just really hoping that, you know, we can keep DeAndre. And DeAndre is, you know, serviceable at least enough to where we can keep him on the team because with players like DeAndre, we're really going to need – we're gonna need depth at that position, and DeAndre is, don't underestimate DeAndre. DeAndre got some speed too, and he could keep up with some some shifty some some shifty slot receivers coming over the middle or even some tight ends. So, you know, let, let's let's keep an eye on DeAndre as well. Now, you know, there was a um, safety who I think will be impactful, and. And it, uh, Verone McKinley, and he he's from Oregon, just like Javon Holland, and I'm anxious to see how they're gonna roll McKinley in there when we have like Eric Rowe and um, Brandon Jones out there with Javon Holland as well. So um, I, I I think um, McKinley will find his place. I think he'll find a place, but I, I think he'll be impactful um, during um, during our uh, training camp here. And th these are some players that, that you guys need to be looking out for because these guys are all going to make impact throughout training camp and throughout preseason. So with that, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, you know, please leave them. In the meantime, subscribe, hit like the bell. We are trying to reach some milestones, and we are actually we're gaining. We're getting close, and I, and I appreciate that a lot. And the more that you guys like the bell, or the more that you guys hit the bell and subscribe and like the content, it puts us that much closer to our goal of hitting those milestones and to it makes our community look even bigger. And at the same time, it does support you know, the Miami Dolphins, and it supports the NFL. So, again, if you go up in the uh, channel bar, we do have a shop now link. You guys can hit that link, and it'll take you to our merch store right now. You can see our T-shirts that we have, and you guys get free shipping on that. So, you know, again, I just want to thank you guys again, and love y'all. Deuces. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this? More of this. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to take a look at our gear. Um, click with the Fin Fan. You can check out the links uh, below. And also know that uh, your support with this um, helps our artists and it also helps uh, what we're doing here uh, with clicking with the Fin Fan. And a um, good thing about it all is uh, you also get free shipping with that. So just uh, take a look at the gear that we got. Um, grab something for you, your boo, significant other, your kids. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you.